Hello everyone, this is Jackie Williams and in this video I want to share with you some ideas and techniques for creating one layer cards. And for my sample today I'm going to use the Watercolor Melon stamp set. And this one is available as a free gift with purchase during January and February 2024. Now you can see this set doesn't have any words so I'm going to use the You Make Good Things Better from the Delicate Forest stamp set. Now I am going to make one little variation to the one layer card. I'm going to stick with one layer for doing all of my designing and embellishing, but I am going to technically make it two layers so that I have a white on white. And I'm doing that simply for the, the sturdiness of the card. However, if you prefer truly just one layer, you can do all of these techniques also just on one layer. So let's start by stamping our watermelon and I'm going to use Flirty Flamingo and Granny Apple Green. Now your watermelon slices have one slice with a bite out of it and one slice that is solid. And I'm going to start with the slice that has the bite out of it. Now I'm just gonna pick a place to start on my project. I'm going to kind of eyeball the center a little bit uh, more north than center. Okay, then I'm going to stamp the solid watermelon slice going the other way on either side. It's very slightly not in the center, but I am just going to go with that. Then I'll use the granny apple green to stamp the rinds. Now at this point, they look like pink pieces of pie. So we really need to add those watermelon seeds. You can stamp them in black, but I want to get them really, really black. And also, I want them shiny. So I'm going to use my Emboss Buddy over the top to make sure that ink that I've already stamped is perfectly dry. And then I'll use Versamark with my uh, seed stamps. And I'm just going to stamp those. I'm going to stamp them somewhat in a pattern so, because I can't actually see them. That way I won't accidentally stamp over top of myself, if that makes sense. So what I'm going to do is use black embossing powder and that's going to make them really, really black, but it's also going to make them shiny. So when we have one layer cards, we want to add as much interest and texture as we can without adding layers and height. Especially on white cardstock, it's really obvious if there are little um, stray ones. So you'll want to use this very soft brush that comes in the embossing kit and just brush away any stray marks. You don't want to brush it away, oopsies, brush it away with your fingers because it tends to just smear it, then you'll have black smears. Okay, I think we're ready to heat. Can you see how the seeds are now shiny? So that just adds some interest to our card. A little bit more than just stamping with black. Okay, now I wanna add some texture or some more texture to my card. And I'm gonna grab my Simply Score tool, one of my favorite tools. And it took me a little minute to work out this little tip. So hopefully this is useful to you as well. So what I wanna do is I wanna score above and below the watermelon, creating a little section. However, I don't, if I score it like this, sorry, then the, the uh, scoring line is depressed and I want the mountain on this side, not the valley. So what I figured is turn it up this way and I want it at this one, so three and five eighths. So what I'm going to do is, I know it's three and five eighths and that's gonna um, be the right spot. So I'm just gonna flip it over this way and do it at three and five eighths and also at three and three quarters, so just an eighth of an inch over. And then I have my score lines, the mountain side, in the right place, if that makes sense. Okay, then I'll do the same thing over here. So that three and a half is about right. Or not three and a half, three and a quarter. So I'm just going to turn that over and do three and a quarter. I'm kind of going on faith here. And then three and three eighths. 
Yep, and then I have my score lines in the right places. Now I've given myself a little more room at the bottom than at the top because I want to put my words right here. And I want to do those in black, but they would look, I think, well, my opinion, I think they would look a little out of place if those were embossed and shiny and these were then just stamped. So I think if you emboss one, you should emboss them both. There we go. My words are a little bit imperfect here at the end, but I'm just going to go with it anyway, because after all, eating watermelon is messy, so it goes with the theme of the card. So I'm just going to see if that's about right. Yep, so about three, three and three quarters is about right. So flip it over that way. Three and three quarters, three and seven eighths. There we go. Now I want to add just a little bit of stamping at the top and bottom. So this time I'm going to use shaded spruce and I'll use this really fun leaf. I love that the leaf has a little uh, curly vine on it. Now my shaded spruce isn't used that much, so it's quite dark still. So I'm going to stamp it off. And then you just want to turn it this way and that way so it doesn't look completely like it's just the same image stamped over and over, even though it is. And next I'll bring back the Granny Apple Green and my blending brush. And this time I'm just going to blend that little bit of Granny Apple Green along the edge there. Now I'm ready to add this to my card front. If I were doing several layers on this card, I would have added a little bit of black and uh, maybe some black gingham ribbon. But because we're just doing one layer, one way that you can add black and maybe a bit of a black border is by using your ink pad. And this is something we used to do many years ago. And just rub that along the edge there. That just gives you a little bit of a black edging without adding any cardstock. It also doesn't add, you know, a black inking edge where it might look a little more grungy than you want it to with watermelon. So let's put this onto our card base. Another reason why I'm using technically two layers instead of one is so that the inside of your card looks nice and tidy. You don't see the back of this, which maybe if you've used Stampin' Blends or used embossing folders, you would see the back side of it, which isn't always a bad thing, but just keeps it all nice and tidy. And then if you feel it's in keeping with the spirit of one layer, you can add some embellishments. I quite like these. Uh, these are from the Up in the Air suite. I decided I liked just having a couple along one side like this, but you can of course place them wherever you want. And I thought they toned in quite well with our watermelon. And then here's one that I made earlier. And then on the inside, you can just do a little more stamping, whatever you would like to bring that print all the way through. So I have a few more ideas to share with you using uh, one layer cards, and I'll talk you through the techniques for these ones. So this one is using the craft note cards and envelopes. And this is using the Everyday Details stamp set. And I've used the Stitched with Whimsy dies. These are a personal favorite of mine. So they don't cut anything out. All they do is just add stitching. So it gives you a nice border without adding layers. And then I've stamped the nest and the words. And then I've just colored in that nest and added a bit of the fine tip glue pen onto those eggs to give them a little bit of shine and added the new gold embellishments. They have kind of a pebble sort of look to them. So I thought they uh, toned in quite well and worked in well with the nest. And then this sample, I've made a long narrow card using the perennial lavender stamp set. So I've just stamped all along. I have embossed just a tiny piece at the bottom and used my scoring tool just like I showed you to just add that little bit of a border between the embossing and the stamping. Then I've just blended on color and uh, finished my stamping. So it's really, all of these cards are mostly just ink, stamps, and paper, and maybe a few embellishments. But there's no die cutting, no extra layers, and no ribbon. 
And then for this sample, I've used the new Enduring Beauty images and masks. And I think I'm going to do a separate video showing some ideas and how to use these effectively. All of that coloring was done using masks. So I was quite pleased with how that turned out. And again, just stamps, coloring, and I chose to use the dragonflies, one, because I think they're pretty cool, but they're also extremely flat. So if you're wanting to go for just very flat cards, then those would be very good choices. And then again, just added that bottom border with the quatrefoil embossing folder. But this is all one piece. And then this sample, I've used the new Wild Fern and I've heat embossed that in white, added some color over top, well actually added several layers of color over top, and then just added some splatters and some words. So that one I've kept very simple, and I have actually created a reel or a short form video to make this card, so you can be on the lookout for that too. Now these next few samples, my eldest daughter Madeline made, and they are technically one layer, well, one layer plus the base, so two layers, but they are ones that you can't do without having the two layers. So I'll just put that um, disclaimer out there. So this one I thought was pretty clever. She has a piece of white. She blended on the sky and the ground, stamped the words, and then she die cut out all the shapes and then die cut them separately out of colors and then just slotted them right back in. So other than these, embellishments here the card is totally flat she was quite happy with that one and then this one uh, this is a technique that i'm teaching in my techniques embossing folder class and this background here with the layered florals embossing folder so we just cut a so we just cut a frame right out out of the technique piece and then stamped on the card base um, and added a little bit of ink. So again, it is just one piece and then the card base, but you do, it is required. You couldn't do it with just one piece, so you'd need to have those two pieces to do this technique. And then this one is probably pushing, pushing uh, the limits here. So it is just one, two layers. This is stamped up with the Sending Love stamp set but then uh, we did add this faux seal over top. So it is not completely flat, but it is just two layers to the card. And then this one Madeline made up all by herself and she was very, very proud of it. So again, you do need the two layers for this, but it is very flat. Um, she stamped up the images and then used the basics, basic border dies and just cut them apart and ink them separately and then piece them back together again. So that makes a very cute card for uh, either a young person or someone who is in construction. So I hope that gives you lots of ideas of how you can make use of your inks, stamps, and papers and create interest and texture without adding any layers. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share with your friends if you know someone who would enjoy this too. If you have a friend who would enjoy this video too, please share with them, leave me a comment, and of course subscribe, and I'll see you next video. This is Jackie Williams, bye-bye.